it is not taught in art school. I went to Moore College of Art in Philly. I went to the Pennsylvania Academy, Samuel Fletcher uh, Memorial for the Fine Artists. And I have to tell you what they don't teach. What they don't teach as much that I, I think students of Christine take it back. Jen, I know you will always take it back. Or Jen is here. So I think that it's really the relationship between you and the model, what's happening up here is really important. It's really important. So what I ask anybody that I'm trying to help is take a look at this pose. Look at her. Look right here and think of one word. Either before you begin or as you're drawing. One word. What do you see here? What emotion is this? Do you see what an emotion in her? An emotion that you could feel, you know? I'm trying to help you. I have to come up with my words so I can help you. But I want you to think of that word while you're working. It's not about, it really is not about making sure that you're doing exactly what's up there. What is the word? What's it happening, Nick? Like what, do you, what's, what word do you think of when you look at her? Solemn. Right Solemn. Good word. Very good word. Mike, what do you see? What do you think? What do you feel? You? Calm. It's true. Voila. What are you feeling? Movement. Movement. Now see, here's a static model. Lala, see, it's move, movement. It's going to be something different for everybody. Michelle, what do you think? You know, warmth? Warmth. Another great word. Verb. Serene. Barb. Cold. That's cool. That's so cool. Once we, that's what I want you to know. It's so, it's so personal. Okay, what do you think? What do you feel like? Lonely. There you go. Yeah. Sweeping movement. Sweeping movement. Okay, that's going to give us everybody a, a chance to start. Find your word. Find who she is. Like, connect with her right here. Emotionally. 